What's up, punches? Your boy JT Adamace is back with another video. Appreciate everybody's love and support here on this channel. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and share this video with anybody you think it can help. That way you can build your team because you don't want to be the only person in your circle that is doing well, right? Now, of course, as always, this is here until we get it updated, but you guys already know JT Hustles, JT Automations, you can call me, whatever. It's still all good. Those updates are coming soon. But the reason why you clicked on this video, as you can see by the title, is because you're interested in knowing how in the world can you start a business that can make you over a quarter million dollars uh, in four months. Better than that, though, is what's the profits, because that is the gross number. So this person is netting over 80 grand. All right, put down in the comment section below, if you were to make 80 grand in four months, average out to 20K a month, how would your life change? Especially if you could do that on top of whatever it is you're already doing. So on top of your nine to five job, for those of you that have one of those, or on top of your existing business or side hustle that you may be doing right now. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. Here's actually a student that has done just that. So, uh... Got a call today. Your check is ready for pickup. Thanks to everybody. Shout out to Eric for teaching them. Uh, what, what's most important is, is let me see if I can adjust this for you guys. All right. Can you guys read that number? Let me, let me, let me do some work. Can you read $247,444.71? Yes. Right? Yes. So, Great money was made off of that play. All right, two hundred forty-seven thousand four hundred and forty-four dollars. All right. So now, how did he did it, or how did he do it? You guys know I got South Carolina education, so uh, I'm gonna mess up talking from time to time. It's with the asset recovery business. This is a business where you help men and women that are entitled to surplus funds or overages get their money back. Now, the subject matter expert here on this channel goes by the name of Mr. Eric Richardson, the same gentleman that he shouted out in his testimony. And what we're going to react to is a video of him breaking down what are surplus funds for the benefit of anybody that's new. As always, I'm going to leave resources down in the description below so that way you could tap in with Eric and learn how to do this business for yourself and be sure to let them know JT Central. So let's get straight into it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my page, Money Making Juggernaut. I'm your host, Eric Richardson. Today, I have a great video in store. I am going to break down exactly what surplus funds are. Before we All get right, into that, make it. sure you guys go ahead and hit the like, hit the subscribe button. You guys know I'm coming out with content for you guys so you can dominate in this industry. All right, so we are going to discuss what surplus funds are. You probably heard about this through an ad, maybe saw a video, maybe saw somebody else talking about this. But today, I'm going to break that down so you guys can fully understand and see how important this industry is and reasons why it's been the best kept secret in real estate. All right, guys, so when it comes to surplus funds, I've been doing this business since 2018. Okay, so I've been doing this for a while now, and I'm actually one of the leaders. Before anybody starts complaining about the audio, right? So I have no control over his audio. What I honestly think is that um maybe his mic is in his shirt. And that goes without saying for most people. But uh, unfortunately, some people will miss out on life-changing game just because they'll say, oh, man, JT, you need to fix your audio, right? So that's all that it is, all right? Um, let me cut this phone on mute and keep it going. Leaders in education in this space. So you guys are in great hands today. Um, if you want to, go ahead and grab a pen, uh, grab a notebook, take some notes. I'm really going to break this down very simple so you guys can understand. All right, so surplus funds, to keep this very simple, Let's go. is going to be the remaining profit. All right. This is the remaining profit after a foreclosure. Okay. So as you guys know, the counties, they have taxes, all right? So in order for a county to operate, they tax anybody in that area, all right? This is Thanks. going to be taxed at homeowners, all right? So if you own a property, you're gonna have to pay your taxes, all right? So we have a tax deed foreclosure, okay? This is going to be when somebody does not pay their taxes on the home. The county's gonna 
say, hey, look, we need these taxes. It's been some time now. You haven't paid your taxes. So because of that, we have to get our money somehow. We're actually going to foreclose this property. All right. So that is for tax deed foreclosures. There's another foreclosure that brings about surplus funds. This is going to be the mortgage foreclosure. All right. So just like in a county, if they don't get their money, they can take it over. Same thing with the bank. All right. When people own homes, majority of the time they get a mortgage. All right. If they can't afford it after some time, the bank is going to say, hey, look, you have a major payment. Because of that, we're actually going to foreclose the property so we can get our money. Facts, facts, facts. Dope thing about this business is that you don't have to live in the state that you operate this business. Uh, I'm trying to tackle all the common questions. This is not the first time, nor would it be the last time you see Eric here on his channel, right? So um, you don't personally have to be in foreclosure. You don't even have to be in the state with somebody that's going through foreclosure or don't pay their taxes or anything like that. Um, but these are the kind of scenarios, just for clarity, that create opportunities for men and women to go on and take advantage of these surplus funds that they are entitled to, right? Uh, as always, if you got any questions, engage in the premiere if you catch the premiere or uh, engage in the comment section because the goal of this channel is not just to be another channel that you watch and then you move on. I want you to actually take action and make money from off of what you learn from watching this YouTube channel, right? Let's keep going. All right, so we have tax deed foreclosures and we have mortgage foreclosures. Tax deed, they do not pay their taxes. Mortgage, they pay their mortgage, all right? The formula to determine the surplus is going mm -hmm. to be the final sell amount. All right, so All right. the final sell amount minus the opening bid. All right, now the opening bid, you might ask, well, what is that? The opening bid, this is going to be the amount owed. Okay, so this is the amount that is owed. Okay, now we just went over two types of foreclosure. So it's gonna depend on which foreclosure and that's gonna let you know what they owe. So if they don't pay their taxes, it's gonna be the taxes that were owed plus the cost that actually holds the auction. For the mortgage foreclosure, it's gonna be the cost of the mortgage that they haven't paid yet, which is known as a final judgment. It's gonna be that final judgment amount plus any other cost, attorney costs, anything like that, um, unpaid interest, things like that. That's gonna go into that. All right, so we have the final sell amount. This is going to be what the investors pay. All right, so this is going to be a third party winner, okay? So at that foreclosure, they have an auction, they have investors that are getting these properties at about 70 cents on the dollar, all right? So whoever is the highest Killing. winner, that third party, that amount minus what they owed, this is gonna get us to and you guys know I have an entire book out about that as well. Tell you guys all the time, I think that's the most cost-effective way for you to invest in real estate. Real estate has created the most millionaires. Um, that's neither here nor there, but I did want to highlight that. So not only can you go to the auction and acquire these properties, you can also help these people, whether you buy the property or somebody else buys the property, you can also help people that are entitled to surpluses get their surplus as well. So you can get paid multiple times by going to these auctions. But even if you don't go to these auctions, you can still reach out to these people, help them make money, and you make money. And these are those evergreen businesses, right? Uh, what I mean by that is that these are businesses that are going to be recession-proof, all right? Because they actually serve a purpose and that they help people get funds that they're legally entitled to. And you're going to always be in the green long term uh, when you're in a business that actually helps people. Because for lots of people, this is a need. All right. You feel me? So that company that got that quarter million dollars that we kicked off this video with, trust me, they look forward to getting their money. All right. And on top of that, um, as well, he was able to get a hefty um, fee as well by facilitating the deal. So imagine if you could sit back and collect the difference between 240000 and 80000 right? And all you had to do was agree and let somebody go out there and do the work for you, all right? Um, another big issue that a lot of people have is they'll say, JT, um, well, why, if I reach out to them, why won't they just do it themselves? Well, one, they don't know how to do it themselves. Two, you could sell them the paperwork 
uh, so that they can do it themselves. And of course, you'll get less money than if you got a percentage, if you're talking about a large amount that they're, they're entitled to, but you'll get paid up front for that. Um, there's always do-it-yourself people in every market. There are some people that would rather build their own car than go buy a new car. They'd rather work out in their garage and restore something or put something together. There are people that would rather, you know, build their own house. So there's always do-it-yourselfers. So your clientele are men and women that don't know how to do it, don't want to do it, and they believe in hiring an expert, right? So like the old saying goes, you know, if – uh, if you decide to represent yourself in court, you got a fool as a client. Well, that could be the case because in many areas, right, and you got to Google to see if this is true in your area or not because I know people will watch this from all over the place. Um, you have a window of time to do this correctly. So if you don't do it right and if you don't do it within the set amount of time that they dictate, then now the county can legally keep all of the money and say it's going towards school buses, roads, police uniforms, guns, cars, whatever, whatever that the city needs. So when you're talking about large sums of money like this that are under a time constraint in many areas, do you really want to wing it and end up with 100% of nothing? Or you want to take, you know, a chunk of money and pay a professional to do it. Those are your clients. All right, let's keep it going. The surplus. All right. So this final sell amount, let's say, for example, somebody sells, well, not sells, somebody gets their property foreclosed and it sells at the auction for $100,000. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do simple math so we can keep this really simple. All right. I definitely let's say somebody math. owned a property. And they didn't pay eight thousand. All right, they didn't pay eight thousand in taxes. Okay, that is going to leave us a surplus of ninety-two thousand. All right. So this is how surplus funds come about. All right, the county's going to host an auction, whether that's tax deed or mortgage foreclosure. The property is going to get sold at an auction where other investors are going to try to buy it. The opening bid is going to be the amount that is owed, all right? The formula to get to the surplus is going to be the final sell amount minus the opening bid that gets us to surplus. So in this scenario, property sells for $100,000. They owe $8,000 in taxes. There's $92,000 left over. Now you might say, wow, this is crazy. Are you serious? Yes. This money is left over and held out the county. Now the crazy thing about this is this surplus funds this amount right here is due to the previous owner all right now the previous owner typically doesn't know about this all right that's why we step in okay we step in we inform the previous owner and we let them know all right now majority of the time they're going to think it's a scam so there's some ways that i can you know give to you guys so that you can persuade these individuals let them trust you and then we're going to give them proof and show them that this is actually up to them all right so due to the previous owner also heirs all right so if somebody owns a property and they pass away their loved ones we can actually assist them all right so we got the heirs also that's a nugget all right because uh you may find that there are some surpluses or some overages whatever you want to call it owed to someone but that person may have passed away um but if they have any legal heirs then you can assist them as well also if you find that entities like businesses or trust or whatever it is are old overages or surpluses as well you can uh, assist them as well so uh if there's an overage out there you can definitely help that man or woman um, and it's a, a very simple process if you know what you're doing, if you learn from the right people. That's why my goal here is to create content like this to, one, make you aware that this is a play that you can run. And then beyond that, actually connecting you with people like Eric, who's a subject matter expert, they can tell you this is exactly how to run the play to make the money so you make money and your clients make money. All right. So let's go. Lean holders. All right. So if we have any companies or individuals who had a lien on the property, even sometimes code enforcements from counties uh, will, will actually get a claim towards the surplus. And we also have companies, all right? Companies, 
All right, because LLCs own properties, they're considered a previous owner. Okay. And then also governmental entities like the IRS, all right? That's who can claim that money, okay? We can help all of these people claim that money. We can help the previous owner, we can help heirs, we can help lien holders, we can help LLCs, all right? We can help them claim these funds, okay? The thing about this money is there's gonna be a time period there's a time period in which we can claim, okay? Now, every county is different, okay? I'll let you guys know, every county is different. Not every county has the same time duration in which you can claim these funds, all right? So California, for example, when a property is sold in California, they usually host these auctions one time a year, all right? After that sale is recorded and the ownership is transferred over, it's a year from that point in which you can actually file a claim. All right, so all these entities can file a claim within that one year period. If they don't, guess what happens? The county gets to keep the money. It's crazy, all right? Ooh. So some county- This is a need-based business. Did y'all hear that? This is a need-based business. We touched on it earlier, but I definitely wanted to pause for the calls and highlight this again. This is a need-based business. So they can hang up the phone. They cannot use you. They can try to do it themselves. And if they are wrong, they can end up with 100% of nothing. All right? So understand they need you. All right? And, and that's important because it's way easier to do business when you know that your clients need you and not just want you. All right, because just like they want you, they can want somebody else in the future. But when they need you because you have an expertise that can help them get the outcome that they want, all right, now it's a little bit easier, right? And now that's when the real money come in, but let's keep it going. Please keep unclaimed surplus funds, all right? It's crazy. This is why this is very important, guys. We have individuals that are losing their property. The county is hosting the auction just so they can get their taxes. It sells for way over that amount and they get to keep that money, all right? Now, you might say, wow, doesn't that sound corrupt? I mean, it kind of is. Now, this isn't all counties in America, but this does happen, okay? California is one of them. So if we don't get a claim in within that one year period, any of those entities, the county gets to keep that for their budget. They get to keep operating. And in most counties, they actually um, will pre-calculate what that amount is gonna be and understand that most people don't file these claims. Most people don't file these claims because the county, they send notifications to the last address of record, which is the property that just got foreclosed, which is crazy, all right? So they send notifications to the last address on file, all right? So, of course, they're not getting this mail, all right? All right, I want you guys to understand that, right? Imagine, if you will, and I hope this never happens to anybody under the sound of my voice, but imagine, if you will, that for whatever reason you lose your property due to foreclosure, not paying the taxes or whatever, or somebody you know, even if it's not you, uh, but somebody you know. And then they say, well, okay, JT or you watching or listening to this are entitled to... $20,000 profit. But the only way we're going to let you know that you're entitled to that $20,000 in profit is by sending a letter to the house that we already auctioned off. So your stuff is already gone. You already live in wherever else you move to. And guess what's going to happen to that letter when that new owner checks the mailbox and they see a letter that is not addressed to them. All right. Now, if they're nice and if they have the time, maybe they'll return it to the mail person next time they see them or drop them off at the post office and say this person doesn't live here. But what get, what you think the vast majority of people going to do? Trash it. Trash it. Even if somebody does open it, right, which I don't recommend you opening other people's mail. But even if somebody does open up the letter and they see that somebody, not them, is entitled to money, that doesn't benefit them at all. So they're still going to end up trashing it. They have no way of doing that. All right, they have no way of cashing in on that unless they know this business, which the vast majority of people don't. And that's the value that you're going to possess since you watch this video. So that's why we have to step in. We have to inform them and we have to let them know that we can actually help them out. 
All right, in some counties, if it's not claimed within a time period, it's gonna do what's known as S cheatment. All right, the funds are gonna get S cheated typically to the state, and then now it's gonna be unclaimed state funds and we can still help them out. All right, so we have a time period in which we can get that claim in. So it's very important. All right, now when it comes to surplus funds, you can find these surplus funds on county's websites for free. County website for free. All right. Actually, I want you guys to go. Hey, are you guys taking notes? Right. Hey, let, let's. You know what I mean? Cause I'm I'm super intentional with this. Hey, laptop. The laptop is up. The laptop is up. Right. So. If you guys are not taking notes on this game, uh, this time next year you can be in the same exact position that you're in now or you could be doing a gazillion times better. All right, I'm all about taking action. So, hey, ask somebody. I tell you guys, I take courses, uh, mentorships, masterminds, buy books, do all of this stuff as well, and I write a lot of stuff down. Um, and, yeah, leadership by example. I want you guys to be taking action. If you are in a position right now where you're driving, working, or for whatever reason – you can't take notes right now. Save this video. Share this video with your team. Come back to it, right? Virtual mentors work. Digital mentors work. Having this sort of content available to you for free via YouTube can make you money. All right? Don't be lazy. On Google, look up whatever county you feel like and put in keywords, surplus funds, access proceeds, overbid funds list. All right? you guys are gonna see that this is happening all across America, all right? Because think about it, people don't pay their taxes, they don't pay their mortgage. When they don't do that, somebody has to take over and get that asset back, all right? So there's leftover money that we can help these people claim, all right? And the beauty about this is we are just locating money and locating its rightful owner and Facts. combining them too. All right. So our service that we can do is we're going to help them file these claims. All right. So we're going to help file these claims. All right. Now, when we help these individuals, the first thing that we have to do is get them under contract. All right. So when it comes to getting individuals under contract, we have to be professional. We have to be knowledgeable and we have to be an expert. We have to be professional in the way that we communicate with them. All right, we have to be knowledgeable in the aspect of what are surplus funds. Can you accurately explain to somebody that they're entitled to these funds and that they trust you? Okay, we can't just call somebody and say, hey, you're owed $120,000. I can help you file that claim. They're just simply not going to believe that. But when you start breaking down, hey, were you the previous owner at 1234 Main Street? Okay, were you aware of the foreclosure that occurred back in October last year? All right, well, do you know what happens after a foreclosure? Typically, they're going to say, yeah, I lost the property. Yeah, that's true. You lost the property, but it actually sold for a higher amount. And there's an open claim for some remaining funds in your name. And I'm actually reaching out to help you file that claim. What? I have money left over. Oh, to me, what are you talking about? Yeah. So what I like to do is I'd like to send you over this so you can take a look at it. You'll see some information about my company. This is what we do. We help people day in, day out, just like yourself. We help them file these claims. We'd love to help you out. Oh, yeah, by the way, we don't charge anything up front, so I just want to send you this email. Check it out. If you like it, we can go ahead and help you file a claim. All right, so that's how you guys can actually execute, okay? And then when it comes to being an expert, that's just knowing all the different type of claims, how we can help many individuals, and then you get it done, guys. This is a great business to get into because it doesn't require any previous experience. You can literally take the information about surplus funds, go on the county's website, get that information, contact somebody and help them file the claim. You don't need any special certifications, you don't need any degrees, and you guys can do this business. If you guys want to learn how you can actually operate this business step by step, know all the documents that are needed to file a claim, video trainings, my mentorship, and partnership opportunities, then check out the course, all right? You guys can use the code Take Action. you'll receive $100 off, and you'll get the help from me. I'm looking forward to helping you guys out. Check it out. To be honest with you, like the training that Eric does is significantly underpriced. Um, 
And I'm, and I'm not saying that for no false scarcity or anything. Links are already down in the description below for your convenience. Um, and yeah, like one day, Eric is going to have to raise the prices only because of supply and demand. There's going to be so many people that are hip to this information, want to take this training, and he's not going to have the time to service everybody. So the only thing they're going to be able to do is charge more money for the training. Um. But if you're watching this and you click the link, all right, Eric is a subject matter expert. He knows his stuff. All right, I'm telling you 100% co-sign him. This guy will help you make money. All right, so take action immediately. Don't just watch a thousand other YouTube videos. This is the YouTube video that's going to help you get to the next level. Till next time, so I'm going to stay hustling. Jay-Z Automations, I'm gone.